a long time ago, I was at a banquet my last year of college at Orange County Community College. And I had a pretty big ego then, because I thought I was a hot shot and indispensable and that kind of stuff. And I told the athletes in my presentation that uh, if I had been here a couple of years ago, I would have been thanking the athletes for having me as their manager. But since that time I've grown up and I now realize that they should be thanking me. And I got a big hand for that and a standing ovation. But uh, since that time I've kind of grown up quite a bit and I realized that uh, that's not really true. Because it, it was the athletes and all the coaches and uh, the people I worked with that made me what I am today. And uh, I should be thanking them for what I am today and for allowing me to be part of their lives on and off the fields. And, uh, and in closing, I just wanted to say, uh, something I really believe in that I learned from Gary Dross as a coach, as a friend, and as a father figure. Um, sometimes when you're feeling important, sometimes when your ego's in bloom, sometimes when you take it for granted, you're the best qualified in the room. Sometimes when you feel you're going, would leave an unfillable hole. Just follow these humble instructions and see how they humble the soul. You take a bucket of water, fold to the top, Put your hand in it, up to the wrist. You pull it out, and the hole that's remaining is a measure of how you'll be missed. You can splash all you want when you enter. You can stir up the water galore. But stop, and no time at all. It's quite the same as before. The moral isn't quite simple. Just do the best you can. Be proud of yourself, but remember, there's no indispensable man or woman. And I think... Uh, that's a carryover into life in general, no matter where you go. And I've tried to be impartial to the athletes, male and female, and uh, do the best I could for them and be concerned about them as a person and how they were doing in school as well as on the athletic field. And I think I've done that. And uh, it's just sad to come into a place where you don't know the people's names and some don't know yours um, and you feel kind of left out. And I think I've adapted to that a little bit, but not so much. But by being able to work the weekends, I meet a lot of people who are firefighters and police officers and correctional officers in the different prisons and uh, in the city, and so I've made a lot of new friends through them, and now I'm meeting her kids, and I meet uh, grandkids of kids that went to school here when I was first working, and to see that is quite a thing, and to see that they're doing so well in their own lives, uh, it makes me kind of feel like I've been a part of their life and hopefully touched them in some way.